Hi, uh, let's start with the server classes now. As we discussed earlier, we have been covered W desktop and W server. Okay, where we don't have a, uh, where we actually have a server and a W desktop concepts here. And see this, we'll cover this now. How does W say simple architecture? See, when you have a W, when you have a database, okay, and this database has almost Take this, this is W desktop. And once you create the W, once you create any reports in W desktop, while connecting to the W, desk, w server, W uh, different data sources, we are going to cover, we are going to get the data from the different data source, uh, data source and we are loading the data into W and creates the reports here in W desktop. See, and we create the reports for the W server. W, we create the reports for the W users where he, they, the users, our clients will log into the W server and see the report. Once you create a report, once you create a report in W, once you create a report in W and W desktop, you need to publish the report to the W server where users can access to the server we access and log into the server and see the report in w server so this is called as a publishing or we can also call it as a w deployment from w desktop to w server see as a w developer as a w developer you need to work on the w desktop and w server but users will see the data from the in from the uh, uh, users can see the data in the w server only where they don't have access and they don't use the w desktop they can only the use the w server they can log into the w server from the different devices maybe they can log into the w server to the to frame their mobile or apples or some other kind of devices normally w server is a W server is a web applications. I can say thus, web applications also call it as a cloud applications. Okay, users can log into the users can log into the server by using URL. Okay, by using URL. This URL or uh, this application we call it as a cloud applications where you don't where you don't need to install the W server in the W client. But as a W developer, you need to install the W server and publish the report to the server from the W desktop. This is what actually a kind of reporting, a kind of publish, publishing the dashboards or reports or kind of other stories to the W server. Let's have a small session, session now. See, if you want to log into this W server, if you want to log into the W server, you need to first give the URL. This is the URL. See, we have a HTTP slash localhost and the URL name. But when you're working with any company, there we have a kind of different different environment where we can say there's dev environments, QA environments and testing environments where we need to log in by giving by the our client. See, this is a sample of this. This is the trial version where we are working for the W server now. Once you install the W server, once you install the W server, you need to log in as a W administrator. Once you create the, see, this is the area where we have a login URL. And once you give that, we have already created a, a W users where you can log in as a W users. This is the authentication. This is the authentication where you normally log into the users. Apart from this, apart from this, see when users log into the server, when users log into the server, how we normally give a permissions. Okay. How how we normally give a permissions? I can say thus permissions are access. Access to the reports or dashboards. We also call it as a views normally. Whatever the reports you created, 
whatever the dashboards you created whatever the stories you created in a in tableau desktop right when you are loading when you are publishing a report to the server we call all the reports or dashboards or stories as a views normally as a view normally so one view nothing but a one report or one dashboard or one sheet sorry one stories okay one stories this is the way how we normally how we normally uh, call it as so this is the way the permissions permissions in the sense how users can log into the server and what kind of permission he has apart from that apart from that how he can see the report whether it could be a kind of editable permission whether it can kind of a, he can only see the report where he don't have a options to download it where we don't have a options to modify it where we don't have a options to comment on the dashboards or views normally those kind of permissions are access we can need to set up in the tableau server see we already log into the tableau server see by using the url let me go to the tableau server now see these are the sample report which are provided by the tableau these are the sample reports which are provided by the tableau see thus we have a views now views nothing but a it kind of a dashboard it's kind of a report or it's kind of a views so it's kind of a stories as well so now see this is the tableau you the user which who is logged into the tableau server and we have a tableau admin sorry this is the admin tab and this is the content tab this is the content tab see this is the content tab in this content tab sorry in this admin tab we have a maintenance we have a maintenance nothing but a wsql application server background task data server data engine repository gateway server let's have a discussion about wsql okay wsql is a concept where it normally where it normally in uh, where it normally execute the query in, internally when you do the some kind of access on the and the tableau tableau how it normally gets and and automatically generates a query means when you connect it to the tableau tab when you connect it to the database when you load the database into tableau and we have a list of tables in the database when you drag that database into tableau right wsql automatically generates a query and get the data into tableau and application server application server is managing the users credentials okay users preferences and some kind of other tags those kind of things will be managed by the application server i can say this application server managing the users authentications now see this background task background task nothing but a, a kind of activity where it normally checks the kind of reports or it's a kind of internally scheduled task or scheduled reports and data server data server data engine data server manages the tableau databases tableau databases which you published from the tableau desktop to tableau server normally once you create a report in tableau desktop you need to publish the report as well as the database as well as well as the database when you publish the database to the tableau server right data server takes that take care of the take care of our tableau server manages the database in the data server okay data engine is managing now let's have a discussion about tableau data engine data engine manages the data engine manages the extract files extract files okay now the gateway gateway manages manages the a kind of activity when users log into the server that request goes to the gateway that gateway will redirect re re that to the redirect re that to the appropriate servers it could be application server that means now you are the users now when you are logging to the url when you are logging to the server and that tableau server send a request to the gateway manage gateway server that automatically routed that to the application server because application servers knows that the credentials are per, are is a kind of 
tab. Application server manages the tab view users authentication, right? So gateway servers knows that who are managing the kind of activity based on the request coming from the different areas. And all, apart from that, now when you when you try to open a web, when you try to open a view in the tab view server, it request it will get the request by it will request to the it will it will send the request to the gateway. Now gateway server send that request to the VSQL to execute the query and get the data and see the report in the your view. This is the way how normally gateway. At the same time, gateway act as a load balancers. Load balancers that means where in the same time, in the same time, almost many of the users is not into the SAP server, right? Gateway manages the request. Also, it will send the, it will also manage the, it will send, it will send the request to the appropriate servers. Apart from that, it also manages the loading, loading, and it also provides that load balancing and send the request to the gate, the appropriate server. This is what a gateway server. Now, let's see this when you have an admin tab. When you have an admin tab, here we have a sites, licenses, users, groups, projects, data connections, schedules, tasks, and subscription. Let's have a discussion about sites. Let's have a discussion about sites now. See, site is a area, a site is a place where users can log into the site, and sites gives you a more secure place for the report. For the report but we have a see normally we have a list of users in w server but all the users cannot be a site users that means who you give access to the sites which users have access to the sites they can only log into the server rest of other people cannot log into the server as we need to give the permissions to the W sites now. Now we have a licenses. Licenses counts as nothing but a kind of licenses where we actually paying the money for the W people where they will give some kind of license on that. Let's have a discussion about the users. Users is a users here, right? What whoever the users, whoever the users need a need a report and wanted to see the report in W server, there we can call it as a users apart from the the main, apart from these users, W developer can also call it as a users in W server where they can publish the report, where they are the W administrator, where they cannot, they can report, send the report to the W server. We have a group, group nothing but a list of users, list of users and how we it act as a, act, how it is act, right? See, we have a list of almost, we, if we have a hundred users, if you have a hundred users, those users are from the different regions. Now, if you want to give the same kind of permissions for the almost 10 to 20 people, right? Those users added as a under the group. Now give the access, give the permissions in a group wise. Give the permissions for the group wise. Let's suppose that in your company you have a hundred people, hundred resources where they are the users in the W server. Now, those are the some of the users are related to South India. We are not the South, South we are not some of the users in the South India. Those people has to see the report in the W server, which is related to South India. Now, instead of giving the permissions for the individual people, right? If you make the South India users as a South India users group, South India users group, you can add all the list of the 20 people or 10 people who are part of the W server. Who are the W South? Sorry, who are the part of W? Uh, who are the part of W? Who are the part of South India? They can carry it as a under W South India users, where they are under the South India users group. Now you can give the kind of activity automatic process to the. See this, we have all users are five people. Apart from that, we have it one more one group called as a sales group. In that, we have a two users that means instead of giving a individual access or permissions to the one-on-one -on -one, you can make it as a group and add them add them to, into the group add them the individual user as a group and give the permissions now see this we have a project see in w right in w once you report once you created a report
see once you publish the report to the sablu server it's it could be under a project it could be under projects and under the project under the project we have a workbooks under the workbook we have a views we have a views projects manages the workbooks projects manages the workbook we have a different projects like sales projects or revenue projects okay revenue projects as a, a kind of or it's a budget project budget project these are the kind of projects okay when you are publishing a report to the tableau server you need to must you must select a project you must select a project now see this we have a this kind of activity what is the data connections when you publish what data connections nothing but when you publish a report to the tableau server we have a view in the we in the server right and that view which is related which connections which databases or which databases it has to which has a connections to the views that is what a data connection now see this we have a book 2 book 2 is a report and we have a data connections that name is a order table from the excel sheet now this is the area how we normally see this when you publish the report report name is finance this is having a extract and this extract has a this a data connections now see the schedules see schedules is very important topic in tableau server that means where it normally where it normally are automatically automatically update your sheet okay update your sheet when you are giving the schedules for particular particular report let's have a discussions now see you created a report which is related to daily which is related to daily sales daily sales now daily sales nothing but when your your office or your business is ending by the 8:30 daily in the evening evening that means we created a report to understand the daily activity now you need to give a schedules for particular you need to give a schedules you need to give a schedules for the users okay you need to give a schedules for the reports here reports here that means when you create a report and publish the report to the sablu server if you give any any schedules for that particular views right it automatically updates the it automatically updates the report because you are specifying there a you are specifying there a some kind of scheduled activity see in end of the day if your managers or users wanted to see the report right that means they wanted to see the report by 9:30 pm ist now when they wanted to see that report at 9:30 pm ist right as a tableau developer you need to give a schedules for the particular report to automatically pub, automatically update your report that time you need to specify that which time it could be a 9:15 or it could be a 9 or it could be a 8:30 if you give a 9 o'clock right is a 9 pm ist it automatically updates your report that automatically send the report to the tableau users that means your managers are if it's kind of a any people who want to see the report by 9:30 now see this okay this is what a schedules now we have a tasks tasks nothing but a what kind of what kind of schedules it has been updated see this we have a task here in that now it is giving you that every day at 9 pm see this we have a we created a schedules on that it is next update is next update is november 26 that means when i created a report right i gave you every hour it could be full refresh the type is full refresh every hour means every 9 o'clock 10 o'clock 12 o'clock every one hour it has been reports it has been deleted it has been updated automatically you need to check that what kind of schedule it has been updating what kind of schedule it has been performing 
under the task activity if you want to delete you can delete that now there is no activities now here now we have a subscription subscription is a area where users where users don't have a time to access the server right see you create a report and it has to be it has to be update every hour or every day now users not able to users if users don't have a time to see the report while logging to the tableau server right if you subscribe if you give a subscribers for the particular users even a particular users he, he automatically the users automatically get the report report because you gave the subscription on that you gave the subscription of that that means you created a report in tableau desktop you published that report to the tableau server you gave the you gave the schedule for particular view now or reports now and users wanted to see every day at 9 30 and you created a schedule by nine o'clock once schedule has been completed he auto that automatically tab new server automatically send the that updated updated report to the tab users who has a subscription who has subscribed the report okay this is the way how we normally work it now let's have a discussion about tab new content in this w content see thus as we are discussed that right we have a projects okay projects manages the project manages the report when you are publishing the report to the w server you must select the project name without project name you cannot able to publish the report to the server and once you publish the report to the server while selecting the w sorry this project name it automatically give you that which book workbook it is once you see the workbook name here right see this workbook has contained all the reports this workbook also we have a eight workbooks under that eight workbook we have a views like this okay we have a view like this is what a tab view overview of this is what a tab view overview now let me create a users okay first how to create a users how to create users now now let's create a users let's create a users see once i go to the w server we have a users here users is under the admin tab if you want to create a users here right you need to go to the admin first and click on the users and see let's have a users creations now see we here we already created a some of the some of the users let's have a let me delete it let me delete this now we have a only one users only one users only three users now now let's have a discussion now you click on the users right now click on the yard users okay Click on the yard button. We also have an import button here. What is the import? Import is very important because if you want to create a, if you want to create a report, which is which you if you want to create a users, right? If you have a bulk users, that means if you have a 200 users, 300 users like that, in that time, in that time, you don't have a options to create a you can create that, but you, you have to create manually are where you can import the users and get the user and, and automatically load the users into your tableau it automatically creates a users here apart from that we have a admin here sorry we have a yard button click on the yard button click on the yard button now we have a users name let's have 
Ramesh. Ramesh is a username. Click next here. Now give the Ramesh. And password is a W W. Okay. Password is a W and W. Now see this. These are the very important. Okay. They will ask you that in interview. How, what is the kind of users roles. Or users roles. We have users roles like a viewer, interactor, publisher and administrator. Now let's create a Ramesh as a viewer. If you give an option as a viewer, right, he cannot publish the report. Uses the viewer's role. Okay. Viewers can't publish. Then who else publish the report, right? The publisher or system admin can only create can only publish the report see thus we have a some other users here one is published one more is administrator one is administrator these these two people can only publish the report see what we have a viewer and interactor let me create a ramesh as a users viewer now i created a ramesh as a viewer now let's go and see the Ramesh name here. See, we have a Ramesh name here. Okay. Click on this. Click on this button. Okay. And now see this. We have a, you can make them as a administrator, system administrator. This is the main administrator. We have a one more is site administrator. We will discuss about the site later. Now, see this. He is the viewer. License level is viewer now. Let me go to the W desktop. Let me go to the W desktop and let me try to publish as a Ramesh. As I told you, we cannot publish the report to the server where the users don't have a if users is not a unless until users should be Publisher, publisher or site administrator, sorry, system administrator. Now see this, we have to get the data. Now let me create a, a sample report. See this, I have a product type and I have a sales now if you want to publish the report to the server right you just you need to create a one report and see this we have a server tab here let's create a see you can sign in this here see it also have a automatically that server name and you can open a workbook again ask you that a uh, user password and publish the workbook see let me connect it as a Ramesh let me log in as a Ramesh because Ramesh don't have a Ramesh user Ramesh license is a Ramesh role is a viewer let me try to publish whether user can publish the report or not see this when I am connecting to the publish reports right it is asking that you don't have a permission to be published to the server can talk to administrator now now see the report here see the other user see he is a he is a w1 w1 is a system administrator now let me publish the report as a w1 we know that w1 is a w1 is a users where we have a access to publish the report now see this as it i am now publishing the report next topic is publish the report to server publish the servers to the publish report to the server 
now while i am when i am connecting to the publish the server now automatically connected to the server it is asking that which is the project name which is the project name in this project name side we have a default and tab table samples now let me see this how many projects we have in the tab server now see this in the tab we have a default is a project name sample tab sample is a one more project name now see this we have a users here we have a users here and you need to change that as a Ramesh report okay Ramesh report this is the name that means it's it will be saved as saved into the workbook in the server now see this whatever the report you created here right those only showing here see seat one now we have a user so who this are the users now now it is not enabled right here it is not enabled once you click on the seat number you need to give a you need to give a permissions or access to the w server for the each user see this once you click on the add button here you can able to see the list of people list of people now let me give a access to the ramesh now i am giving the ramesh see this here when you select the use ramesh right it is also automatically showing as a viewer viewer how it is showing as a viewer now let me select here okay now we have a under that role we have a viewer interactor editor now let's have a discussion about what is the role and what kind of purposes here when you select the username here we have a role right and see we have a permissions as well now we have a add edit permissions permissions like a view web edit that means view means you can only see the report web edit means you can uses the ramesh can able to change it are able to modify the report write and web save once he once he once the ramesh has been added some of the measures or dimensions to the worksheet on the server he can save as well that means he can have a download option he can download that he can delete that he can filter that comment it like this now that means when you select the view right it means allow means he is able to see the report dna means he don't have a see the access inherit means he don't cannot be see the report so let me select the interactor now now just observe that when i have a users viewer on the role right we have a allow and one two three four we have a five enable option now now let me select the interactor see automatically it is enable one two three four five six seven eight almost we interactor has a more permissions than the viewer but what about the editor here see editor has a more options or more permissions than the viewer now let me select that viewer viewer means he can only see the report he can only see the report now let me give a view report view report for the ramesh okay click okay now publish i am now publishing the report i am publishing report only one sheet see it is now publishing that click on the it is now showing that published report click on web edit see it's automatically it's automatically publish the report to the server 
under the workbook okay under the workbook now see if i go to the now see this this workbook is under is under default project name default project name in this default project name we have only one sheet this is a call it as a workbook if i click on this work sheet number one it's under the it is now under the view view but understood that i log in as a tableau administrator because tableau administrator can see whatever the things he can do that now let me sign out and log in as a ramesh whether he has a enable option or not now go to the project click on the default and in the default we have a we have a ramesh report click on ramesh report and see this we have a sheet number 1 click on that see that you don't have a any edit option here any edit option here any kind of activity here he can only see the report he can only see the report he cannot do any kind of activities see these three are by default every users has a by default options this symbol is a refresh the data for this view this is manual refresh button but we discussed as a we discussed earlier about the schedules right but that schedules automatic process this refresh button is a manual option okay this is what how to publish the report now see this if i go to the home page ramesh is the ramesh is a viewer right that means he don't have a admin tab here content tab here because viewer cannot create a report viewer cannot create a any kind of users projects and all he can only see the reports he can only see the report now understood that this is very important viewer cannot create a report viewer cannot publish the report viewer cannot see or create a users site and all okay this is what the how to publish the report login as a user login as a users we have a two types of users primary users one is side users one is system users system users can system users can have a login to the tableau server side users side users can have a login to the or they they will able to login to the site okay here site is a more secure place where you can connect and see the where you can connect and see the reports when you are normally publishing any report to the server if you have a site right you need to select the site and select the project under the site now let me have a site now let me have a site let me create a site now site is a sales site okay sales site sales site is a site name now okay and this by default we can give the same site name here and see now see this if you want to connect to the this site right you need to give this http slash localhost slash ttas slash i see we have a this is the site name here this is a site name let me have a copy on this so that we can connect to the that site now okay now click okay see now we have a two types one is one is default site one more is sales site but here we don't have a, any users see this it is showing us zero users zero users here. we don't have any sales 
site users now let me assign the users to site okay now go to the all users go to the all users and click on manager and click on site members here select the site users instead of default i am giving i am assigning users to the particular site see now and let me change manisha select the manisha here it is showing us all licenses like make that to be license users as a device then only they can able to log in all license users not able to log into the site or login server like site or login now click on the akshita and select the site members as a default site So I just assign Manisha to the particular site. Now let me assign. Let me assign Akshita for the same site number. Go to the site and click on the sales site. Click OK. Click OK. Now when you are publishing a report to the site, right? If you select site sales site, then you will able to see the. Manisha name here. Now let me add Ramesh to the same site. Sales site is the site name. Now let me give that access. Okay. Now we created a one site name and assign three site. Now let me connect it to the site numbers. Instead of the common server name, we need to give the site name here. See, we have a. This is the site name now. Now let me connect it to that. So once we create it, once we created a site and log in with this, give that that site name and log in as a Manisha as a Manisha as a name where we click where we give the Manisha name for that Manisha name to site. Okay. Now. Give the username and password. Now log into the site. See that it is asking select the site. Manisha name has assigned to the sales site. Click OK. You will now able to see the Manisha on the site. You will now able to see the Manisha. So this is the way. Now we don't have any projects. We have a only one project which is default project for the for the site. Okay, now check this other things. We don't have any workbook. We don't have any view. Let's have a let's create a let's publish a report to the server. Let's pu publish the report to the server which is related to <laughs> once you <coughs> now when you publish a report to the server, right? First you need to log in as a Login as a system administrator or publisher. Your name has to be should your name has to be publisher or your name or your role has to be your name has to be assigned to the publisher role or server role, server administrator role. Now, now just create a create a use one report which is related to site. And this report I am going to publish to the server. Publish to the server. Now 
login as a administrator login as a administrator tab one is a administrator for us once you login as an administrator it will ask you that which site you are going to send which site okay now see that it is asking which site it is see select the site we are going to publish the report to sales site select the sales site now it will ask you that which which project it is under the sales site we have only one project that is a default project now say thus change it as to manisha report and select the seat and assign seat here see in this sales site we have a three users assigned to assigned to we have a report to anish report this site has a three users one is akshita manisha ramesh now give access to the manisha only give access to the manisha only. now give the some kind of permissions for manisha and click on publish now publish the reports here now let me see this whether published report has been there just refresh the data and we will able to see the published report here now see this in this workbook workbook name is manisha report see this manisha report and open this and see that this is the way how we normally connected to the site and see the report no one no others and other people can able to login now let me join as a ramesh whether the ramesh has a this published report is available or not see now i am connecting to the site and we don't have a site access as well now let me log in to the site let me log in to the server and check that server ramesh has a access or not to the site go to the administrator whether the ramesh has a go to the site or go to the users and select that whether Ramesh is the Ramesh is a licensed users unlicensed users he cannot able to log into the server so now go to the now see this Ramesh is a viewer now he unable to see the report now means he just he can log into the server now he can log into the server and he cannot log into the he can log into the server but he cannot able to see the report because we haven't given the permissions for the users we haven't given the permissions for Ramesh site now Ramesh is the username and give the password and select now see that he is able to log in but Okay, why because we are able to see the report in the log login as a Ramesh as well, right? We gave the publisher, we, we gave the, we published the report to the server with the site. So, whoever, whoever have a site user access, he can able to see that. Now, let's, let's discuss about, let's discuss it about the scheduling. Now, Go to the administrator. 
login as a administrator and login to the site go to the schedules now see schedules is a place where you normally you normally create the schedules and automate the automate the report refreshing report refreshing by connecting to the database by connecting to the database if you want to schedule a report right schedule a report you need to create a schedules now whether it is a hourly basis or daily basis or weekly basis or monthly basis now why we need to refresh the data means if you create a report which is related to hourly base right hourly base or daily basis or it's a kind of weekly basis we need to refresh the report right so for to refresh the report we have to create that every 10 every 30 minutes every 30 minutes is the report publishing and what time it is every 30 minutes starting from the 12 30 am okay and give that and give the details and click on the create a schedules create a schedules now let me publish this report or let me publish this workbook to the see now i'm publishing database i'm publishing database to the server go right click on the database and publish the server publish to server click on publish to server and it is asking authentication authentication we have a two type one is none one is a embedded password now we have a publish option we have a publish option you have published the report as well apart from that see it is successfully published the report if you want to publish the report and if you want to give the schedules for the report right you can you need to create your file change your file name to extract and start now let me publish report to the let me publish database to the server select the ser database and publish the report publish the report see that we have a refresh data and we have incremental refresh and full refresh and now select this every 30 minutes we gave this name is every 30 minutes and click on the publish the report this report this database or this report has been updated automatically every 30 minutes every 30 minutes this is the way how we normally create a schedules now we don't have increment of refresh now we don't have incremental now we don't have incremental refresh enabled right to enable this one this incremental date you need to create a incremental refresh here click on the incremental refresh and select the any date or year better to select the date now see this now now select the publish to server publish to server see that we have a incremental refresh here so whatever the data when you want to refresh the data you can select that if you supply that if you apply the incremental refresh you cannot apply the two times you cannot apply the two times so better to select only one refresh whether it is incremental or full refresh So publish the report to the server. You can see this report, uh, this data and the data connections and the data connections. See that this is what which we published just now. Which what we published just now. This is the way how we normally create, publish the report and create the schedules as well. This is about server.